welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 310. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. I feel embarrassed right about now because I'm the only one here. It seems that my bad signal didn't reach to everyone who should be coming. Yes. And also, I guess everyone's busy. But hey, um, it's all cool, it's all cool. It only takes one guy to do a podcast, two to be entertaining, three to be chaotic. Well, in all honesty, one is enough to be all entertaining and chaotic at the same time. But who am I to say? <laughs> so anywho, I want to apologize in advance that this week in the news is a really rare, slow news. I think this is the first time I've seen something like this. Like, way back when, I managed to scrounge up some news. But this time, I couldn't. Like, you know, honestly, I just couldn't. You know what? Maybe probably I can on one thing. But, well, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, anywho. Let's get right into the news. So, Easter was just passed this week. So was April Fool's. And I need someone in the comment to explain to me. Why was Easter on April Fool's Day? Like, what happened here? I'm really confused. But hey, um, Easter was on the same day as April Fool's, so yay? The joke's on us. Eh? But with that, in the Philippines, adorable Easter ponies were on display. So I am guessing this has something to do with the holidays over there. And the toy store or shopping complex wanted to post up some easter team pony related stuff. So uh, they did. They were adorable. Like, you have Twilight wearing a bunny ear scarf thingy. And then you have Rainbow Dash popping out of an egg. And so on. Like, I, you know, honestly, I got no idea what to say. Like, this could be fan-made. It seems that way. I, <laughs> you know, honestly, I got no idea. The vectors of the ponies were, well, you know, honestly, any good vector artist could have done this. Adding in the... Easter team was not that hard as long as you can generate an idea of how to do it. So this could be official, this could be fan-made or commissioned by the Toy Store. I'm guessing Toy Store Us probably, I'm not 100% sure. And yeah, you guys just have to go and look at it because it's really adorable. And there's sure is a lot of pony stuff. I'm looking here at the pictures and I do see a display for... A what you call this? The Apple family's farm is way in the background, so you won't really notice it. And there's a lot of pony stuff. Hmm, if I'm not mistaken, the My Little Pony brand in the Philippines is really big. If I'm not mistaken, if you're in the Philippines and do happen to stumble upon this, that's awesome. So let's try and look for one more news because I did notice something that's quite interesting. If you guys are a fan of D&D or do play the My Little Pony Tales of Equestria storytelling game, it seems that now they're distributed exclusively through Diamond Distributed Inco- Distribution Incorporated. So, ooh, um, I... Didn't really do a lot of research on this one. Um, from what I can tell, previously they were done by River Horse and Ninja Division, Shinobi 7, I think, whatever it was. And they were the one previously doing all the books, and it seems that um, there's a new guy coming in to take over the, what you call this distribution um, for the books. I hope that this new change makes marks for better distribution outside of the states because if not then it's no difference huh honestly i got no idea i I stopped playing well not really stop i haven't even started playing the game because i couldn't get a crew going and with my crew of people and only few of us have the what's him call this um book it was kind of hard to start a game but hey, I don't mind trying to start one. So yeah, um, let's hope that this new distributor is going to distribute books to more locations. I know for you guys in the States, it's going to be easy. 
but outside of the States, it's going to be a bit troublesome. So yeah, uh, that's the news for this week. I know it's a pretty slow one. It's one of those things where, where are all the news? But anywho, let's hit into the next topic. And that is what have we been doing with our week. So in all honesty, uh, my week hasn't been different. It's still the same as before, the job, doing a few odd ends around the house and whatnot. So, in terms of what I've been doing, new, nothing. But I've seen a new um, cartoon slash uh, show. It's one of those, ser- how do I put this, episodical episodes. Um, it's called Final Space. So, the backstory for this one is... The series involves an astronaut named Gary and his alien friend, Mooncake, and focus on their adventures as they try to solve the mystery of final space. So what can I say about this show? It's adventure, comedy, science fiction, drama, and whatnot. And I first discovered it via the Brony Network stream guy, Bian King, I think. So he showed the first episode for the show on stream for a bit before showing ponies and it intrigued me it was funny it was witty it was a lot of i i enjoyed it i really enjoyed it if you like um quick pace humor with visuals to boot it up and then like really smart comedy i think this will end it i think this will suffice your needs but the talent for this one that caught my eye was when I saw one of the villains uh, named Lord Commander and he was played by David Tennant of Doctor Who fame and the Tenth Doctor. I was shocked at that because he didn't sound anything like Tennant. You you know how once you know a voice actor you can like catch how he sounds and whatnot. Like, for example, if you listen to uh, Scrooge McDuck in the New Duck Tales, he, he's played by him. And since he's Scottish, he pulled it off naturally. And in that one movie, Ferdinand, he was one of the Scottish cows or bulls. So yeah, it's obvious you can tell who's who. But for this one, I couldn't because he put on a, I won't say American it's more of a North American accent. So I couldn't really tell it was him. But I do re- highly recommend this show for people who want something new and something interesting other than ponies. But I have to warn you guys who are a bit squeamish. Um, it does show a bit of light gore. What I mean by that is um, you see gunfire true well, let's just say you see a lot of blood so yeah you can just imagine there so if you're squeamish um probably try and give it a shot and see if it's your cup of tea if not then um, stop but it is fun it is fun um from what i can see here it's later to have 10 episodes for now um the current episodes till chapter six Maybe I'm not even sure because the way I look at it was episode one and two were mixed and it was up to episode six. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was up to episode six. So you guys could catch up pretty fast if you want to. Um, as for the, uh, what you call this? As for the later seasons, episode seven onwards, um, the wiki tells me that. It will be up on April 16th. So yay, I'm excited to catch the one pretty soon. So yay. So other than that, hmm, I guess that's been my week. That's all I've been doing. Watching, um, what you call this? Yes, Final Space. It's a really fun show. Ooh, um, there's one thing I wanted to watch, but I haven't had the time. And that's... Um, what 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 would they call it? What did they call it? It was pretty ingenious. Oh, you guys at home are probably wondering what am I talking about? Yeah, Scooby Natural. Um, it's the Scooby Doo crossover with Supernatural. 
I, I it seems that Peter New's in there. Like honestly, honestly, God, he appears within the first five minutes, and he plays a large guy who is kind of the big boss of the area and whatnot. It's, he seems pretty cool. He seems pretty cool. I I don't really see anything more other than that. Cause like I mentioned before, I just watch a bit and then I'm just waiting for the perfect moment just to watch it all. Um, hmm, talking about things I also watch, I think I did watch the Suicide Squad, the second animated movie. I forgot about that one. Uh, what was that title called? Uh, whatever it is. Um, I highly recommend that one too. And yeah, that's the thing I've been doing for this week. It's a really short show. Oh boy. So anywho, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themediashowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the media show, And you can reach me at Norman Sanzo. I usually tweet about food, toys, and whatever tickles my fancy. Oh, recently tickling my fancy. I got no idea. Probably a show. Who knows? Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> Why does this tale keep popping up? Uh, I, I've been reading this manga. Wow. This, this show is all over. Like, this shows how ready I am. <laughs> uh, but, um, but yeah, the manga is called... And the manga is called Shiori Experience. Jimmy Nawatashito Hen na Ojisan. So, um, what's this manga about? Well, I'll try and read the synopsis. Shuri was once a guitarist in a light music club in high school, but her first live performance was dashed when her brother ran away from home with a lot of debt to become a musician in Tokyo. A decade later, Shiori is now a high school teacher leading a boring, uneventful life and paying off the debt. Till she runs into the ghost of none other than a famous guitarist, Jimmy You Know Who. A story of a 27-year-old woman on her way to a music legend begins here. So yeah, um, I highly recommend this manga. Um, to summarize the title, uh, Shiori Experience. Just look for that and it's really awesome. I highly recommend it and it's a fun manga to read. So where was I again? Yes, the Twitters, yes. <laughs> so anyway, uh, also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on polyvalive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the MBS Show Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Song, and probably a guest reviewing the My Little Pony episodes, comics, and movies. And sometimes we like to review other things, like... More the Miracles Daily Bug, Duck Tales. We did that once, I remember. It was a comic, by the way. Um, we also did movies. I think one of the movies was Kung Pao Into the Fist. That was fun. And Batman, The Killing Joke. That was fun too. We had Matt Munchkin on to talk about that one. So, yay, much, much awesomeness. Also, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lurker Cat, Starstream, Last of Lag, Amy, Mark, Charles, Lucky Knight, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You have been really awesome and really kind towards me. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya!